Okay. Mm -hmm. Whew. I was going to say, what, a £300,000 car? <laughs> Uh, it's 220 actually. 220? 220, okay. Yeah. I mean, so that made uh, a bit of a dent in your winnings, right? From the worlds? Yeah, but <laughs> um, I hope to sell it for the same or maybe even sure. more. Sure, okay. So, so I mean, why why a Ferrari? I know it's like a luxury item, but <laughs> but was this always on the uh, on the list, the wish list? Um, yeah, well, it's, it's always between Lambo and Ferrari and... Sure. Uh, I think um, I've always loved this model, 488. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I've always loved this one and the Hurricane of Lambo. Yeah. So it's, it was always going to be between it's, these two. It's actually quite spacious in here, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah it definitely is. I mean, this Oops. is quite a quaint town. Is it... I mean, do you get a lot of looks when you're driving around in a bright red Ferrari? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> and that doesn't bother you because you don't care what people think, do you? No, I mean... <laughs> They always look happy when they see the car, yeah. so it's a good thing, I guess. And do they know that that's Luca? That's the world yeah, super champion? Yeah, I think that many people know it, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. They recognize the car before they see me. So <laughs> <laughs> and they, they hear it as well, do they? Yeah, they hear it. I bet, it's quite I loud, bet, yeah. I bet. So, what was it? You, you won the world title, you get the money in your bank, and then, I mean, was it a couple of weeks later that you purchased this? Oh, actually, it was only like five days later i think i got it like yeah the 6th of may wow so wow. it was really quick yeah okay yeah. i mean that's what you made a beeline for as soon as you won right yeah i've got a friend who sells uh, like exclusive exclusive cars and sure i i already bought one with him earlier so yeah. i know him quite well and yeah i just said to him do you have a 488 because i was looking online and there was not many of them no with low mileage so yeah and he immediately got one straight away a red one and it was perfect so <laughs> I just said yeah I'll buy it <laughs> well look I mean you made your family proud by winning the world title your country proud what what is the, the motivation now with with winning in the future it, is it to maintain a, a luxury lifestyle uh, I'm not a luxury person actually uh, no. I know I've got a Ferrari yeah <laughs> <laughs> but actually I'm, I'm really basic okay. um, the things I love the most are making pictures in, in nature, forests. Yeah. I love, uh, I used to be a hiker, like, yeah. I've, I've gained a lot of weight now, so I'm, I'm not really that fit anymore, but I used okay. to be running every day, walking wow. every day, like, really obsessed, and yeah. I'm planning on going back to that lifestyle, and because that's the thing I love the most. I mean, mm. so many people think I love, like, I'm in my house counting my money, but <laughs> that's, that's like, the total opposite of how I am. Sure. Uh, I just love being with friends, being in nature. This is a really simple life, yeah. basically. Probably a bit like Ronnie. I think Ronnie's a bit the same. Yeah. I know Jamie Jones has kind of a similar lifestyle as well. Mm. Um, so yeah, I just love love that kind of lifestyle. I'm, I don't. That's why I don't feel the pressure of earning money because, I, I mean, even if I go broke, I don't care because. Uh, We've all been there, and I don't really care about it. It's, and I suppose I still that a good lifestyle, you know. Absolutely, and then that in turn takes the pressure off trying to win, then, doesn't it? Yeah. Because you're not essentially playing for anything, are you? You know. Yeah, exactly. Um, because if you love this lifestyle of, of having a really expensive car, and if you need that, then you're always going to have to earn a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. Where I'm like, if I don't earn as much as I'm doing now, then then I'm okay with it. Yeah. I just. But it's funny because we're driving on the other side of the road and I'm freaking out a bit. <laughs> yeah. So where it so I mean are we close to your house now? Oh, this is the speed. Oh. <laughs> it's like the G force. I'm gonna get old in a minute. <laughs> um we are about five to eight okay, minutes to okay. my house. Cool, 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 yeah, cool. Quite close. Yeah, I mean that looks like a cool snooker club there. Oh no, it's a music shop. Yeah, it's a music, yeah. Would you ever like open your own snooker club or, you know, as yeah. world champion? You, that would be a cool thing to do, right? Yeah, I would love that. Or just anything, maybe like a restaurant even, because I, I really love like, I always watch like cooking programs. And yeah. I, I love the passion when I see the chefs like cook with passion and I really love that. And uh, yeah. So yeah, I would love to open a business like sometime. Okay. I'm not sure what yet, but also because as a snooker player, like you have a really a lot of time 
away from the table like when you're at home mm. I mean I don't have to go to work so I just and, and, you don't, and you don't practice, so... I don't really practice a lot, <laughs> not like the other players, so... No. For me, it's just, I have so much time and... Yeah. I don't want to just sit on the couch all day no. and do nothing, you know, I want to do something. So, so yeah, so like a restaurant, like what, who, who's your favourite chefs? Well, there's a Belgian chef, actually yeah. he's from Holland, but okay. he lives in Belgium and he's yeah. Sergio Hermann. Okay. And he's really famous here, obviously, and... Sure. Actually, I met him in, in Israel a couple of years ago. Yeah. That was a nice moment as well. Yeah. Ah. I watch all these programs and he's, and he's fantastic. Are you a good cook yourself? No, not really. No, no I don't really cook a lot. <laughs> I love making salads and stuff okay. like that. I love okay. salads, but apart from that, not really. Yeah. So I would just you, love watching it. <laughs> yeah. So what about maybe like a, a restaurant slash cafe, snooker bar? Yeah. I guess something like that. Like a bar with snooker and pool and darts. Amazing. And, and then maybe a little restaurant on the side. Oh, that would be something great. Something like that would be... Yeah. That would be so good. And would you op open it here in, in your hometown? Like. Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah. Probably. And maybe like, I've also had ideas of like maybe in a different country, Spain sure. or Italy maybe. Yeah. That's always been in my mind, but yeah. Yeah, that we'll would be a great idea. Goes, yeah. and, and what would you call your snooker club slash restaurant? Yeah, maybe something like Bullets Place or Bullets Place. Bullet, I love it. That world. is a good idea. I don't know, something <laughs> Bullet <with> World. <laughs> it yeah. sounds dangerous. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, that sounds so 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 good. <laughs> do you, do you feel like you're um, like this new inspirational figurehead of snooker? Uh, maybe. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do think I play a very unique style. Yeah. I don't think there's anyone that plays like me. No. Um, yeah, obviously there's many great players like entertaining players like Judd and Jack sure. Lasowski. Yeah. Sing Tong was one of them. Yeah. Um, and I think it's good for the game to see the young players at the top, you know? Mm. Because um, a couple of years ago, like me and Lasowski, we were like number 40 in the world or something. We weren't really top players. Yeah. But now yeah. we are, and I think it's good for the game. Yeah. And yeah, yeah I guess Jackson Page is, is the next one, maybe. Um, I still believe in, in Alexander Usenbacher, who's, okay. who's one of my, my probably my best friends yeah. on the tour, <laughs> and I think he's got a lot, lot of talent and he just needs to click with, yeah. with his game and and yeah, just hopefully some young players keep Come through. going to the top. Yeah. If you could change one thing about snooker, what would it be? Uh, probably shot clock. Okay. Um, <laughs> I am a big believer of that sport should be entertaining mm. I know people always come up with the argument of yeah but he's trying to make a living I know obviously everyone is doing that but the people at home are watching the game yeah. and you are aware that's good that you're aware of that yeah I think maybe 10 years ago I wouldn't think like that but now I do okay because when I watch sports I wanted to be entertained yeah that's why I love darts you know it's so yeah. quick it's constantly it's, it's entertaining and it's flowing but sometimes the snooker can be like a stalemate for like 30 minutes and you're just sitting there yeah, watching it. Yeah. Well, um, let's talk about your love of music. Because yeah. I know that it means a lot to you and it's important to you in in life and, and your playing career. I mean, what would you do without music? Oh, it would be tough. <laughs> tough <laughs> yeah. life. <laughs> same, same here, same here. <laughs> really yeah. tough. Um, yeah, music is just so good. Um, just in any moment but especially when you're feeling a bit down and sometimes it can just lift you up yeah. for the day and just feel so good listening to it and I obviously I love rap music and hip-hop yeah. music and um, yeah so amazing. What's, what's on your playlist before you head out for a big game or for example what did you listen to before the final? <laughs> what was on the playlist? Well, it's probably gonna be a Belgian group. It's called Stick Stuff. Oh, okay. Are they a hip hop group? Hip hop, yeah. Oh wow. Uh, real hip hop, you know. Yeah. In, oh, wow. in Belgium and Holland, there's a lot of like, it's more like pop. It's yeah. Not, it's not hip hop. Okay. But they're okay. like real. Wow. Dark okay. hip hop, and that's. So that's what you were listening to before oh, you. Oh yeah, that's that's probably one of my favorite groups. Okay. And. Um, yeah, they even follow me on Instagram and, and they, they they speak to me sometimes. So oh, I love that. Are you a bit starstruck by that? <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> like even my, my hoodie now is from this group. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
by oh, the looks of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I love that. Did did someone tell me that you used to make hip hop music back in the day? My brother used to make. Oh, your brother did. Yeah, he, okay. He, he made albums. Yeah, wow. That's what, it was wow. quite good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Do you um? We were talking about this earlier. You know, say for example, when you're when you're watching um, your opponent play and and you're waiting for the break to end, whatever, or to, to win the frame. Do, do you wish that you could listen to music then, or or are you just more focused on what's happening on the table? No. In those moments, I wouldn't lis listen you to wouldn't music know. because I'm also a fan of just uh, like being in some thoughts. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like sometimes you're in your seat and you're thinking about all sorts of, th of things. Okay. And I love that as well because sometimes when I'm driving, I'm not even listening to music. Yeah. Just thinking. Just and taking in the moment. Because <laughs> if you're always listening to music, then you never have. You're always gonna re react to the music, but you're never gonna have a thought of yourself. You know. So yeah. sometimes. I need yeah. that as well. Yeah, and if you're feeling emotional or you need to be picked up, it's the music you turn on, then, isn't it? And if that's yeah. always in your life, you're never gonna differentiate those those feelings. No, yeah, I get exactly, that. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. Do you listen to any rock music? Rock. Uh, rock music. Sometimes, rock music? yeah. Yeah, metal music. Some, <laughs> I can't imagine. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just a fan of music in general. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's mostly hip hop, but yeah. also other. Yeah, Other yeah, yeah. Types of music I love as well. Do you go to any gigs in your downtime? <laughs> no, 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 not really. You said, not, I mean, not a fan of big crowds and. You said that the game was going to be heading to Belgium, though. Will you go and see him? Yeah, I would love to see him, though. Yeah. yeah. I've been to 50 Cent when I was. What, in Belgium? Yeah, I was only yeah. nine years old. I saw 50 Cent with Eminem in, yeah. in Milton Keynes. Oh, cool. And this was wow. like 20 years ago, so yeah. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, that was same good. for me actually. Yeah. That's, that's almost 20 years ago. Yeah, <laughs> Cypress Hill was there as well. Oh, that was wow. awesome. Amazing. That's yeah. my intro song actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, you should maybe do some more gigs perhaps in your downtime. But I guess it's hard because you're always traveling. Yeah, and yeah. as I said, I'm not a big fan of big crowds. So. Yeah, does that Many put you people... off then? Does it? Yeah. I just don't like it. I don't know sure. why. Mm. I'm not a fan of it. Yeah, that's crazy. So whereabouts are we now? Very close to my house, actually. Okay, fine. This is Mass Macula. Mass, ma ah, Mass Macula. I can't say that. It's terrible, isn't it? Mass Macula. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Would you um, want to live anywhere else in the world? Or is Belgium your home and always will be? Are you a homeboy? Oh, you know, the thing is, I really love where I live. Sure. That's my home. It keeps you grounded because you're a very grounded guy. Yeah. Yeah. But I wouldn't say Belgium is is my is my country. I wouldn't yeah. say that. I mean, like when I'm in Italy, I feel much more at home. Do you? Because. Well, your yeah, mum is Italian, isn't she? My mum is Italian, and we have so many family members. Like there's about a hundred cousins <laughs> in Sardinia, so uh, <laughs> it's a really big family. Yeah, yeah. And what did and the Italians make of your um, snooker success? Oh, they really follow it. Like, it's, it's amazing. Um, and also, they it's just like most of them just live in uh, like a small town, small yeah. village, you know? Yeah. Very basic lifestyle. Sure, sure. And yeah, it's just when, when I talk to those people, I just feel more like I'm one of them. They, yeah, and they're them. your people. Yeah, my people, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I love Same that. mentality. Sure, sure. Because yeah. Italians are also like, oh, I don't care about this, I don't care. I'm yeah, the same. You, you do have a very Italian mentality. Yeah, definitely. Is that what people say about you? Oh, that's, that's just how I feel when, yeah. when I'm with Italians. Obviously, there live a lot of Italians in here. Sure. And I just always feel at home when I'm with people like, yeah, yeah. from Italy, you know? Just yeah. the mentality. Yeah, I love that. So, could, would, like, could you ever see yourself moving to Italy? Yeah, definitely. You could? Oh, yeah. I feel yeah. like Sardinia is a really lovely place to like retire and chill oh. and <laughs> it's I guess it's the perfect place it's, <laughs> yeah. it's absolutely amazing I I've been to so many countries in my life and yeah. all over the world but I think Sardinia is one of the most beautiful places wow wow like I bet your mum's like oh love to hear that <laughs> yeah she will love it <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but I mean you know as as a player and as someone who you know is 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 the best in the world I guess that lifestyle at the moment you're just not quite there with it 
Um, or, 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 could, or could you be a snooker player, the player that you want to be living that sort of life? What sort of life? Like the, you know, the real kickback life that you want inside in you. Like, could, could you still play? Yeah, I, I would love to, uh, like, do the two yeah, things, you know? Like, yeah. be a snooker player, but also live a very simple, basic life. Sure. Just That's your house! Oh, yeah. stunning! The garden, the garden needs to be to some... Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's doing, gorgeous. You've yeah, got a lovely really nice. home. So, yeah. And that's that's the National Park, right? No, it's actually on the left there. Okay, fine. Oh, stunning. Yeah, that is lovely. What a lovely quiet road you live oh, on. Oh, it is so quiet. And, and do you have nice neighbours? Yeah. Yeah. Like the owner of the snooker club, so it's... Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. It's perfect. The best. The best. Yeah. The best. Getting back to some sort of routine is going to be good for you, I guess. Yeah. That's what you miss when you're traveling all the time. You yeah. Know? You're switching hotels constantly, and obviously in the US, mm. we were driving a lot from here to there, and it's like yeah. no routine. Yeah. But nothing, you know? Yeah. Sleeping wise, eating wise, no yeah. routine, and yeah. It's funny, isn't it? It's like we're, we're, cre we're, we're creatures of habit, aren't we? You know, human beings. We, we do like routine, however much we, we say we don't. Yeah, <laughs> obviously, yeah. Like a little regime and things like that. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, well, I hope it goes well. It's Germany now, isn't it? And you're going to yeah. go there, yeah. Yeah, next week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you get on with Mark Williams? Actually, we never really had contact. Oh, haven't tour, you? No. Which okay. is really funny because we, we don't have problems with each other, but actually, since this World Championship, yeah. it was like one of the first times I played him. Yeah. And yeah, we really engaged with each other. We really we talked to each other yeah. during the game and. When I made a nice break, he said nice, nice clearance <laughs> and stuff like this. So yeah. now I'm really like friendly with him, which yeah. is really nice because I've always thought he's a really nice guy. Sure. A very funny guy as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's funny. Oh, he's so funny. He's <laughs> a bit, he's a bit of a Welsh legend, you know. Yeah. Back, back in definitely. Wales, and yeah. And he's always been one of my favorite players. Has he? Because, yeah. Well, is he a bit un unconventional 100%. to a sense as well, isn't yeah. he? So 100%. you know, I guess you guys got to stick together, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> Was, uh, and do you get on with Ronnie? Oh, it's it's tough to know Ronnie, you know. Sure. One day he's like really friendly, and the other day he doesn't see you. Sure. So, sure. Yeah. Um, did, did he say? I mean, I guess he wasn't there when you won the title, but I, I guess did you? Did he? Did he say anything? Did he reach out and congratulate you? Or? He didn't, but I mean, the things he said on camera were, were amazing. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever seen him so being so nice, nice about someone. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah. he even compared me to Michael Van Gerwen and stuff like this. So yeah, I was really, yeah, I was shocked yeah. by the comments he made. It was fantastic. Absolutely yeah, yeah, fantastic. yeah, yeah. Oh, bless. That's lovely to hear, isn't it? Yes. And here we are, back, back at the restaurant. Well, thank you for taking me out in your Ferrari. Oh, it was a lot of fun. Wow, it was, it was so good. Thank you so much. <laughs> My pleasure.